fun, Bill. That wasn't funny. Can't you see I'm refueling? You might have caused an accident. No, you're no fun, Timothy. Yeah, you and your oil-burning ways. You're the odd one out. Not like us. We burn coal. And we're not boring. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy usually feels proud to be different. But Bill and Ben's jokes can get to anyone eventually. Soon, it was time for Bill and Ben to refuel. Then there was trouble. Huh? All the coal was gone. Oh. There wasn't even enough to keep Bill and Ben in steam. This is your fault, Ben. You were supposed to bring the coal. You shouldn't have been messing about all day. Me messing about? I'm not the one who's been messing about. Bill and Ben didn't even have enough steam to be able to get away from each other. Oh, great! Typical. Now I'm stuck here with you. Now I'm stuck here with you. Come on, you two. Chop, chop. Marion needs you to collect some clay. We can't, Timothy. We've run out of coal. What? But... There's no steam without coal. What am I supposed to do now? Don't look at me. Oh, go on, Timothy. Go and fetch some coal for us, please. Well, I guess I could. After all, I've still got plenty of oil in my fuel tank. So it was Timothy who delivered the clay to Brendam Docks. And found cars loaded with coal ready and waiting for him. Your poor passengers, you mustn't stop so quickly. Well, at least my passengers can step onto the platform, Gordon. Oh. By trying so hard to be fast, the engines were causing confusion and delay. on my track. Your track? Who says this is your track? There are two ways of doing things, Oliver. The Great Western way and the wrong way. I know. And you're doing it the wrong way. All the engines were making silly mistakes. But Thomas's mistakes were the silliest of all. At the end of the day, Sir Topham Hatt was very disappointed with his engines. Everyone makes mistakes, but when you are showing off and in a hurry, you make far more mistakes than usual, and you have all been showing off. I don't think any of these engines deserve to take you home to the mainland, sir. Perhaps I can lend you my car. Oh, the indignity. Perhaps you'd let me take the deputy minister home, after all. You, Spencer. I can learn from my mistakes, sir. I just need to be given one more chance. Spencer is right. Everyone deserves a second chance. I will forget what happened today. 
And maybe tomorrow, I can come back and see how the railway really runs on Sodor. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So the next day, the deputy minister did come back and all of Sir Topham Hatt's engines showed him just how well their railway could be run. No, no, no! This salt is meant for the docks. It's to stop them being slippery in the icy weather. I'm sorry, Gator, but you'll have to take it back. Off you go. We don't want any more confusion and delay. Sorry, sir. Express train coming through! Percy, there you are. Listen, Sir Topham Hatt just sent Gator to... I don't think Gator wants to see me, Thomas. He's probably forgotten all about me. But Percy, Gator thinks it's you who doesn't want to see him. He does? Yes. He's heading back to the docks right now. Oh, no. He's going to go away again. I have to catch up with him. Gator waited while Cranky unloaded the rock salt again. He was very sad at the thought that Percy didn't want to see him. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, I hope I'm not too late! Ahoy, me hearty! Oh, hey, did you know the gator is... I know, I know! Percy looked everywhere, but he couldn't see Gator. Oh, no! The ship is leaving! I've missed him. Gator, wait! Watch out, Percy! Luckily, nobody was hurt, but there was rock salt everywhere. Percy was very sorry about the mess, but he was even more sorry that he was too late to see Gator. Goodbye, Gator. Hello, Percy. Gator? Yes, but this wasn't quite the greeting I was expecting from you. I thought I'd missed you again, Gator. I'm so happy you're back. Yes, I'm back, Percy. And this time, I'm going to stay. At least long enough to wash off all this salt. <laughs> oh, you're right there, matey. We can't have two salties on Sodor. <laughs> <laughs> Percy couldn't believe it. His old friend was back for Christmas. And he was a very happy little engine. Oh, no! What is it, Mr Gator? Is everything all right? Everything's fine, Toad. It's just my lamp. It's gone out again. Your lamp's gone out? Then you must stop and relight it. It's dangerous to cross the island at night without a light. Yes, I know. But I think there's something wrong with that lamp. It won't stay lit. Gator stopped near a junction to light his lamp again. While he was waiting, James came along with the flying kipper. Hello! Oh, oh! Not again. Oh. Now we're making progress, Mr Gator. We'll soon be at the docks. Gator! Where's your lamp? Mr Gator, is your lamp out again? Yes, I mean, no. Oh, OK, yes. But it doesn't matter. I'm sorry to contradict you, Mr Gator, but it does matter. 
You need to stop. I can't keep stopping. I have to get back to the docks before morning. Really, sir? I must insist that you stop and light your lamp. <laughs> Mr Gator, please! We are approaching a junction. This is where the cars come on from the gravel pits. There may be gravel on the tracks. Slow down! Right. That's it. <laughs> Mr Gator, if you don't stop, then you'll give me a wheel flat. Thank goodness you've seen the light at last. Now, I'm not going any further unless you relight your lamp. Fine. Then I'll go without you. What? It's... Dangerous to go without a brake van, you know. I know. But it might be quicker and quieter, too. Gator left Toad behind and hurried on towards the junction. Then there was trouble. Oh, gravel! Toad was still fuming when he heard something coming back along the tracks. Hello? Who's that? Be careful! Break that on the line! Sorry, Toad. Hello! It's me, Thomas, the number one blue tank engine. I've learned so many new things on my worldwide adventure that I love sharing. Let's discover more!